Hey everyone! It's a beautiful day to learn. In this channel, you will be learning about machine shorthand. So, if you're interested, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications. Are you ready, learners? So in this video, we will learn about lessons 1 to 5 of machine shorthand. By the way, I am using the book Stenograph Theory for Court Reporting by Stenographic Machines Incorporated. I have been using this book for the past six years already, and we paired it with the Protégé version of the Stenograph machine. Okay, so are you ready, learners? Let's start. Okay, let's try this. Can you read this one? So that is what we call as stenograph notes or stenographic notes. This what this is what will appear on the steno paper if we are using the protege version or the non-electronic machine. And this is what you will find in the LCD screen if we are using the latest machine shorthand with a machine rather, which is the 2015 Luminex. Right? So in order for us to be able to read this, let's start with our lesson. Lesson 1. So lesson 1, your first letters. Okay, remember again that we have to put our fingers to the home key position. So the I have already discussed that and I will be putting the link above so you will have a review. You can have a review for those who haven't um, watched it yet. Again, in stenograph machine or in steno, we write by sound. So here, lesson one, our first letters, we have initial S, vowels A, O, and then E, U, vowels E, U, and then final T. So put your hands in the stenograph keyboard in the home position. Now using your left hand, you write initial S with a little finger. Okay, so you press it there. Then you write vowels A and O with the left thumb. Okay, using your right hand, you write vowels E and U with the right thumb. And then for final T, write final T on the upper bank of keys with the little finger. So again, initial S is left little finger. Final T is right little finger. Vowels A and O is left thumb. Vowels E and U is right thumb. Great! So here on this slide, we can see on the left part, um, the stenograph notes, while well, on the right side are the transcriptions or, yes, the transcription of the, stenograph, of the stenograph notes on the left part. So we can see the words there, at is equivalent to vowel A, final T. So the strokes for at is vowel A final T. So you press vowel A and then final T simultaneously or all together to form the word at. That is also the same with the word sat. So that's initial S, vowel A, and final T. Same also with the word set. So you from home position, you go to the position of initial S, vowel E, and final T. Then you press them together. Then you can see there a paragraph, um, a two asterisk key that is equivalent to paragraph. In the book that we use as a reference, two asterisk key means paragraph or next. Um, paragraph okay so we also have their arbitraries when we say arbitraries that is equivalent to brief forms in foundation of shorthand or we call it as um, mga sh uh, shortcut keys or short uh, shortcut um, strokes okay for example we have uh, vowel e as he 
and then vowel u that means you the word y o u same also with final t that is equivalent to the word the okay then another is we are also introduced with punctuation so the period is the stroke of the period punctuation period is final f p l and t okay in this video or in this slide we can see that on the left side we have the machine and notice how the words arbitraries and punctuation are being written using the machine so you have sat at set and then two asterisk key that means paragraph and then eu paragraph and then fplt period okay so let's take a look at it again so sat at step okay so notice ha huh, that it is being typed simultaneously then he you paragraph period great so remember this stenograph notes this is the one that I presented to you earlier before we started our lesson at this point we can now read this right so I'm giving you few seconds so three seconds maybe to read this so start great so I believe that you are now able to read this stenograph notes let's check if you got it right now here's the answer that's two sentences how is it did you get the correct answer so the first sentence is he sat and then period second is you sat period so see isn't it easy and we are done with lesson one so at this point we'll proceed to lesson two now for lesson two that's initial t and final l again using your left hand reach up with the ring finger and right initial t so again initial t is left ring finger okay for right hand reach up with the ring finger and write final l so final l is right ring finger great so you try to position your fingers there you try to practice that's it so in this slide we can see on the left side our standard graph notes and on the right side our words arbitrary and correction key so this is how these words arbitrary and correction key are being um, written in the machine so we have their cell is initial s vowel e and final l set initial s vowel e final t tell initial t vowel e and final l then we have two asterisk key that means paragraph then we have it it is initial t uh, remember that it is initial t because Final T is also equivalent to the, so do not be confused. Then we have there also Saturday. Sat is represented by initial S, vowel A, and final T. Okay? So here we can see how the English words on the right side are written using the machine. Okay, so we have there cell, set, tell and then the arbitraries it and saturday and then we also have the correction key so the asterisk key means correction key remember the asterisk key is the key located between the index fingers so if you make an error and want to correct it 
So you reach to the asterisk key with either index finger and you press it one time only before writing the word correctly. So when you read the notes, the asterisk warns you to ignore the word preceding it and continue reading the notes that follow the asterisk. Here we have an example. So how are, how are we going to read this stenograph notes? So notice that there is an asterisk key found there. So you are given three seconds to answer this. Okay, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's check if you got the correct answer. And here's the correct answer, but you got it right. So how do we read this one? We read this as sell the set period. Remember that the words or word preceding the asterisk key will be ignored and then the corrected word will be the word that follows it. Okay, so we ignore the vowel A here and then we will continue reading the final T or the. So this is sell the set, period. So here we can see the English words, two sentences on the right side. And on the left side is a video on how these sentences are written. So we have there sell the set to sell period another is tell al saturday period so that is how you write these sentences it's easy right and now let's proceed to lesson three vowel i and final s so notice again on the vowels below it's only vowels a o e and u so there is no vowel i because vowel i is a combination of two vowels okay let's get it on using your right thumb write e and u together for vowel i yes again vowel i is represented by vowels e and u so you press them together and that is vowel i using your right hand Drop the little finger to the lower bank and write final S, which is the letter under final T. So how are you going to write final S? So again, we have upper and lower bank. So final S is found on the final side of the keyboard and on the lower bank. So you press it using your right um, little finger. So that's final S. Okay, great. You practice it on your own. So here we can see the stenograph notes of the English words on the right side. So we have the punctuation, another punctuation, question mark. It is represented by initials STPH. So you type them simultaneously. Then you also have arbitraries and phrases. So we have initial S, that's um, is, the English word is is. Then we have um, for the word is, to be used in phrases, you can have it initial S or final S. So depend the, it depends on the location, whether it can be found in the uh, first or last. For example, we have he is. So for the phrase he is, we are going to use final S, of course. Okay, then if for the word is he, then we are going to use initial S and then vowel E. So that's it. So if the word E stands alone, we will use initial S only. But if is is being used in a phrase, then it depends whether he is or is he. So it depends on the location. And we also have the word ill. 
So the stroke is vowel I, final L. So vowel I, again, remember, is um, vowels E and U. Then we have sit, initial S, vowel I, final T, and then os, vowel U, final S. So here, how do we read this? Okay, I bet you already know how to read stenograph notes, so I'm giving you enough time to read that. There are two sentences. That's a clue. Now let's check if you got the correct answer. There you have it. The correct answer is we have the first sentence, he is to tell us, then period. Second sentence, is he to sell the set to test? Question mark, okay? So isn't it easy, right? It may be seen as complicated, but when you know how to read it correctly, then it's very easy indeed, right? Congratulations! Yay! Now we're on to lesson four. That's initial P and final P. So with your left hand, write initial P on the upper bank with the third or longest finger or the middle finger and then release the key promptly. Then on your right hand, write final P on the upper bank with the third or longest finger or the middle finger finger also. So initial P is left middle finger, final P is right middle finger. Here we can see that on the left side are the stenograph notes of the arbitraries and phrases as well as words found on the right side of the screen. So you have their exact, that's initial S, vowel E, and final P. You have is a, that's a phrase, initial S, and then vowel A. Is the, that's initial S, final T. Is it, initial S, initial T. And it is, initial T and final S. We also have there the words pet. That's initial P, vowel E, final T. Put, initial P, vowel U, final T. You have pass, initial P, vowel A, final S. Tap, initial T, vowel A, final P, and then pull, initial P, vowel U, and final L. Now let's try to answer this. How do we read this sentence? You are given three seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, I know you will you will get it right. So let's check your answers. So this is the correct answer. We read this as it is up to all to accept it. Period. I know you got it right. Let's have another one. How do we read this? So you are given another three seconds to answer. Three, two. One, zero. Let's check your answers. And the correct answer is, I put the top up Saturday, period. I bet you got it right again. Congratulations. And we move on to the last lesson in this video. Lesson five, we have long A. Long A, the, it strokes are vowels a e and u so write long a using your left thumb for vowel a and right thumb for vowels e and u so we press them simultaneously again so we will use our left thumb for vowel a and then right thumb for vowels e and u so long a is Vowels A, E, and U. We press them simultaneously. So let's check the notes 
of the phrases and words on the right side. So we have there on the left part of the slide or the screen to us. So that's initial T, vowel O, U, and final S. We also have to the, that's initial T, vowel O, final T. And the words are tape. So tape, it's long A, right? So that's initial T, long A, final P. So the sound is long A. There is a difference with the next word, which is tap. Tap, that's short A, initial T, vowel A, and then final P. Another also is pale, initial P, long A, final L. And then the other one with short A is initial P, vowel A, and final L. And the last word is eight. That's long A, final T. And the other word is at. Vowel A, final T. So notice there is a difference between long A and short A. Okay, long A sound and short A sound. Now let's try to read this one. There are two sentences here. I'm giving you another three seconds to answer. Three, two, one. Zero. Okay, let's check your answers now. So the first sentence is stay at the top, period. And the second is tell Al to pay, period. There you have it, lessons one to five. And since you have already learned how to read stenograph notes, this time you read this one and comment down below your answers and those who got the correct answer will be given an entry for the raffle and you are you will be given the chance to win 30 pesos worth of load and the winner will be announced in my next video so keep watching and wait for my next video learners let's keep on learning Thank you for your support. See you in my next video.